What do you think happens inside your body when you don't eat? Most people imagine, probably just some tummy growling, fat staying stubborn, and the brain begging for bubble tea. But the truth? Way cooler. When you fast long enough, your body unlocks a hidden superpower, a state where your cells don't just survive without food, they start cleaning up, fixing damage, and literally rebuilding from the inside out. This process is called autophagy, which literally means self-eating. Sounds creepy? It's actually why you're still alive after years of junk food and energy drinks. And today's video, it's your crash course into this cellular magic, explained with humor, real science, and zero boring lectures. Because you deserve to know, how long do you have to fast before your body starts self-repairing? Nope, not after skipping lunch, not after eating a smaller dinner. There's a precise metabolic shift where your body stops focusing on digestion and starts upgrading you from within. We'll uncover when autophagy actually starts, what your cells clean up, how long is too long to fast, and whether you dare try a 24-hour reset. So if you're curious about your biology, ready to reset, and want to laugh a little along the way, subscribe now and stick around till the end. This isn't just about fat burning, it's about cellular rebirth. Ever thought, I'm starving, my body must be panicking right now? Not quite. Your body isn't freaking out, it's quietly launching a full-scale renovation. Once you stop feeding it for several hours, your system hits pause on digestion. No more enzymes to break food down. No more sugar absorption. Instead, your body looks inward and thinks, hmm. What can we recycle? That's when autophagy kicks in, your body's built-in self-cleaning, self-repair system. Designed by evolution for those food-scarce days of our hunter-gatherer ancestors. You see, back then, people didn't have Uber Eats or 24-7 snacks. They ate when they could and fasted when they couldn't. To survive, their bodies evolved a clever trick. Clean house, fix broken parts, and reuse energy from within. In 2016, Japanese scientist Yoshinori Osumi won a Nobel Prize for capturing this miracle in action. His breakthrough? Starving yeast cells in a dish. Then, under the microscope, he watched tiny vesicles start devouring damaged parts inside their own cells. It wasn't destruction, it was biological recycling. Imagine your body as a city. Fasting cuts the budget. But instead of collapsing, the city recycles garbage into fuel, repairs damaged infrastructure, and even upgrades power plants. This is autophagy, not hunger, healing. Every time you fast long enough, you're not punishing your body. You're handing it the tools to heal. Think skipping breakfast is enough to flip on autophagy like a superhero switch? Not quite. Autophagy is more like a slow-building character arc, quiet at first, but game-changing once it arrives. Here's the deal. Your body doesn't hit repair mode the second you stop eating. First, it deals with the leftovers from your last meal. During the first 6-12 hours, it's still burning through glucose in your blood and glycogen stored in your liver. Insulin drops slowly, and your metabolism begins to shift toward fat burning but autophagy? Still asleep? Then, somewhere after the 12-hour mark, if you haven't raided the fridge, something magical starts to stir. Your body sends the signal, nothing new coming in? Okay, let's clean house. Cellular signals like AMPK and sirtuins turn on, like a city's emergency maintenance crew being called into action. Autophagy whispers to life softly at first, like an orchestra tuning up. But soon, the cleaning crew gets to work. You might not feel it immediately, but damaged proteins, faulty mitochondria, and molecular junk are being packed up and recycled. This is the bridge the moment your body begins to transition from fat burning to deep internal repair. And if you keep going, you unlock the full symphony of cellular rejuvenation. Congratulations if you've made it to hour 16 of your fast. Your body has just crossed into a biological milestone where something fascinating begins without you even realizing it. On the outside, maybe you feel a bit tired, a little hungry, or you're just daydreaming about your next meal. But inside, 
your body has launched a full-scale renovation project called autophagy. Think of your body as a city. Autophagy is the elite cellular sanitation crew that shows up for the night shift, cleaning out the old, the broken, the junk you didn't even know was there. At this point, damaged proteins, faulty enzymes, and worn-out mitochondria are being tagged and swept up into tiny biological trash bags called autophagosomes. These are then delivered to recycling stations inside your cells where the materials are broken down and reused quietly, efficiently, and non-stop. And the best part? You didn't have to do a thing. No supplements, no tech. Just not eating for 16 hours and boom, your body flips the switch on its most powerful repair system. What's old and sluggish is dismantled. What's fresh and efficient is rebuilt. This is nature's built-in reboot button and it's been inside you all along. So, how do you feel at this stage? Some people report a surprising burst of mental clarity, like a fog has lifted. Others feel nothing at all. That's because autophagy doesn't make noise. It works like a silent background orchestra, tuning up before the real concert begins. Just imagine, by skipping breakfast and lunch, you're not just cutting calories, you're giving your body a rare chance to repair, refresh, and reorganize from the inside out. It's not punishment, it's precision tuning. Like restarting your laptop after weeks of never shutting it down suddenly, everything runs smoother, faster, cleaner. If your computer deserves a reset, don't you think your body does too? If the 16-hour fast was the quiet warm-up of your biological symphony, then hour 24 is when the music crescendos, and it's a symphony of cellular renewal. At this point, your body isn't just tidying up, it's undergoing a full-blown internal renovation. This is when mitophagy, the elite branch of autophagy, kicks into high gear. Faulty, old mitochondria, those outdated cellular power plants, are tagged and dismantled. Picture an invisible crew of tiny engineers quietly disassembling rusty parts and replacing them with fresh components. But that's not even the coolest part. Simultaneously, your immune system gets a reboot. Old, worn-out white blood cells, the overworked veterans of your internal defense force are gracefully retired. In their place, your body begins producing brand new white blood cells, faster, smarter, and ready to defend you against whatever microscopic mischief is headed your way. No pills, no potions, just not eating for 24 hours, and your body this miraculous bio-machine switches into deep repair mode automatically. Now. If you're imagining your body lying on a hospital table being operated on, not quite. It's more like a covert elite maintenance crew working cell by cell, debugging, patching, upgrading all silently, efficiently, and without missing a beat. And the result? You come out of it healthier, sharper, and biologically younger. If the 24-hour mark is deep cleaning, then hour 36 of fasting is when your body officially enters full-on reconstruction mode. This isn't just spring cleaning, it's a complete biological renovation at the cellular level. At this point, autophagy reaches its peak. Damaged cells, misfolded proteins, and aging mitochondria are hunted down and dismantled with ruthless precision. Think of it like a covert elite task force, working overtime to rebuild you from the inside out. But here's the best part. Growth hormone levels skyrocket up to five times higher than normal. This is the silent hero that protects your muscles during fasting, accelerates fat burning, supports tissue repair, and even helps slow biological aging. It's like your body just signed a full service maintenance contract and the only thing you had to do was not eat for 36 hours. You might feel unusually sharp, your skin clearer, your mind lighter not because you did a trendy detox, but because your body is now functioning like a high-performance machine calibrated down to the molecular level. This is the moment where studies on longevity, brain health, and cancer prevention begin to show truly astonishing results. No drugs, no hacks, just the awakening of a powerful self-healing system that's been with you all along. So yes. By hour 36, your body isn't just cleaning anymore, it's transforming. If the 36-hour mark is the symphony of renewal and regeneration, then going beyond it starts flirting with danger that razor-thin line between biological meditation and full-blown survival alarm mode. 
You see, autophagy is an incredible internal tool, but only when used in the right dose. Push it too far, and your body flips the switch from cellular housekeeping to red alert, we're out of fuel. Cortisol, the stress hormone, starts climbing. Your brain sends out a siren. Find food now or I'll start burning your muscle for fuel. Worse, your immune system might begin to weaken. The body launches a full-scale survival protocol. And at that point, you're no longer in the safe zone of strategic fasting, you're stepping into the danger zone of starvation. In other words, autophagy is intelligent repair. Starvation is biological panic. And the difference? It's not just in the number of hours, it's in your intention and your ability to listen to your body. You don't need to be a world champion faster. You just need to know when to keep going and when to gracefully call it a day. At first glance, fasting and starvation might look identical, no food. But in reality, they're as different as meditation and a meltdown. One is intentional, strategic, and empowering. The other? Desperate, chaotic, and destructive. Fasting is a conscious choice. You decide to stop eating for a set time to activate your body's natural self-repair mechanism, autophagy. It's like telling your body, hey, while we're not digesting, go clean things up, repair the broken parts, and upgrade the system. The result? You burn fat, reduce inflammation, boost brain power, and extend your lifespan. Starvation, on the other hand, is a crisis. When you don't eat because you can't, your body no longer feels safe. It stops cleaning and starts cannibalizing to survive. It breaks down your muscles for fuel, suppresses immunity, slows metabolism, and eventually consumes even your healthiest tissues. Think of it like cleaning your house. Fasting is when you take a weekend to deep clean, declutter, vacuum, repaint. Starvation is when a storm rips off the roof and you're just trying to stay alive under the debris. The key difference is intention and duration. Fasting is controlled and temporary. Starvation is uncontrolled and prolonged. Fasting signals regeneration. Starvation screams emergency. That's why, when you fast, knowledge is power. You need to know your limits, understand your body, and recognize when it's time to pause. Because between self-healing and self-destruction lies a thin, powerful line, and wisdom is what keeps you on the right side. Weight loss is just the tip of the iceberg. Fasting, and specifically autophagy, doesn't just help you feel lighter around the waistline. It might just help you live longer, think faster, and feel stronger mentally. Let's start with longevity. When your body regularly enters repair mode, thanks to fasting cells get cleaned out, outdated proteins are destroyed, and tired mitochondria are replaced with fresh ones. That's why studies on rodents show fasting doesn't just slow aging, it helps them age better and stay healthier. You might not become a superhero, but you could very well delay your retirement mode in style. Next up, inflammation. Chronic inflammation is the hidden villain behind countless diseases, diabetes, Alzheimer's, heart disease. When you fast, inflammation markers drop significantly, like calling off a cellular protest before it escalates into a full-blown riot. Now let's talk mind and brain. Many fasters report a strange clarity on fasting days, like their brain has upgraded to pro-max mode. That's because with digestion on pause, energy is rerouted to cognitive tasks. You think quicker, remember better, and stay calmer when deadlines attack. Fasting also builds mental resilience and discipline, a rare superpower in today's world. Every time you sit through a craving without running to the fridge, you train your brain in the fine art of self-control. In short, fasting isn't just not eating to get skinny. It's a full-body, full-brain reset, turning off the noise, clearing the clutter, and helping you become a sharper, stronger, more focused version of yourself. If you think autophagy only kicks in when you're starving and dizzy, good news. There are several other ways to unlock this cellular regeneration switch, no growling stomach required. High-intensity interval training, HIT, is one of the fastest tickets to your body's internal repair lab. Sprinting, burpees, planks, they burn through glycogen and put your body under just enough stress to wake up autophagy. 
You're not just burning fat, you're cleaning house. Cold showers and heat therapy might sound like opposites, but both activate similar cellular pathways. When exposed to temperature extremes, your body flips into survival mode, triggering heat shock proteins and, yes, autophagy. Finally, a scientific excuse for shrieking in the ice bath. Let's talk polyphenols. Powerful little compounds in green tea, turmeric, and resveratrol. Yep, red wine. These bioactive goodies flip on AMPK, your body's energy sensor and cellular repair switch. So sipping tea can now double as anti-aging therapy. And don't sleep on deep sleep literally. During restful sleep, recovery hormones peak, your nervous system resets, and your cells get time to take out the trash. Yes, you can clean your cells while dreaming of flying dragons. Fasting is the express route, but not the only one. You can still knock on autophagy's door through movement, smart food, deep rest, and braving that icy shower. Cellular renewal isn't just about what you skip, it's a lifestyle. If you think autophagy is a one-time miracle that only kicks in after a brutal 24-hour fast, think again. The truth is, autophagy is a rhythm, not a dramatic, one-off event. You don't have to starve until you start dreaming of noodles to activate this system. Instead, Build a cell cleanup routine that fits your lifestyle. It could be a daily 16 to 8 intermittent fast, a weekly 24 hour fast, or a 36 hour stretch for the more experienced, where autophagy hits its peak. Why does this matter? Because every day, your body creates cellular garbage, misfolded proteins, broken mitochondria, leftover biological clutter. If you don't clean it up, it piles up leading to inflammation, fatigue, and aging like a dorm room that's never been cleaned. And autophagy? It's your internal cleaning crew waiting patiently for the green light. It's not about how long you fast, it's about how regularly and smartly you do it. You don't need to be a fasting warrior, just give your body a break often enough to trigger repair mode. And remember, every time you skip that mindless snack, you're flipping the switch on a quiet biological symphony happening inside your cells. Silent, patient, powerful.